what are constructors what do we mean by object creation using constructor and what are the ss restrictions for constructor and then what is a destructor hello everyone i'm sukanya from goedu hub technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about constructors in c++ and their functionalities so by definition a constructor is a member function of class which initializes object of a particular class in c++ construction is automatically called when object the instance of a particular class is created in the previous videos we have seen that how can we create a class and then how can we make a object of that particular class and then ss the respective member function so it is a special member function of the class now there are several properties of constructor constructor has a name same as the class name for example if your class name is having name car then constructor can have the same name constructor do not have any return type a constructor is automatically called when object of the class is created so as you are creating object of particular class the constructor is automatically created if we do not specify any constructor c++ compiler generates a default constructor for us it accepts no parameter from the user and has a empty body so these are the four properties of constructor coming next are types of constructor so there are total three types of constructor naming default parameterized and copy now we will study one by one about them the default constructor is the constructor which does not take any argument means it does not take any argument in the parenthesis it has no parameters it is having no parameters in it parenthesis for example here you can see that we have created a class naming my class and scope is public and the variables are x and y with data type int now default constructor declaration here is so the construction declaration here is my class so this is the constructor how because it is having same name as the class name the x is having 10 as stored variable and y is having 20 as value in the variable now in the void main function object creation of the class now we have created the object of that particular class and we know that how can we create a object the class name and then the object name so class name here is my class and the object is my so in c out what display will be given to us x will be having the value of my dot x which is 10 similarly y will be having the value of my dot y which is 20 it will refer to the value which is stored in the constructor of this particular class which is my class so this is how default works it has no parameters here you can see that in this parenthesis there is no as such parameters passed or no argument is there so hence it is called a default constructor as it does not take any argument so here you can see that the output will display the value of x which is 10 and y which is 20 next and the second type of constructor here is parameterized constructor it is possible to pass arguments to the constructor typically these arguments help to initialize an object when it is created to create a parameterized constructor what you have to do is simply add parameters to the way you have to the other function as you put functions parameters similarly you are going to put the parameters of that particular constructor so there is no as such big or huge difference in the coding of parameterized constructor what we have done here is in the previous program only we have here passed two parameters and those are int a and int b x is storing the value of a and y will be storing the value of b now here you can see the passing of value is done the class name and then the object my and here you have passed two parameters for c out or for printing that is 10 and 20 so they will fetch the values that okay this is the value of this particular parameter passed and then they will display those value so here you have passed the parameter int a and b and here is the value of a and b that is 10 and 20 and those are stored in the variables x and y so this is how the display will be done as similar to the default constructor but what is the basic difference that parameters are passed and the passing of values is also done on the basis of those two or parameters passed an output will display the values so there is no difference in the output but you can see that there is a little bit change in the functionality of coding that here in the default constructor there is no as such parameters but in the parameterized constructor you can pass the parameters as you push as you pass the parameters to the function the last type is a copy constructor now what does a copy constructor do 
a copy constructor is a member function which initializes an object using another object of same class so with the help of object of the same particular class it initializes another object so that is a copy constructor so here you can see that a class naming my class has been created the scope is public and the variables are x y z and w the declaration here is done of a parameterized constructor okay so this is how we have passed the parameter int a and b and value of int a and b are stored in the variables x and y next what we have is we have declared here the copy constructor my class is copying the my class and m now m is here actually an object which is using the object of same particular class of this particular class only it is using so in z it is m dot x we have passed the member functions and then w it is also having m dot y so this is how we have passed those references or passed the variable value similarly we have calling of the parameterized now you have copied the constructor over here and you have done the declaration also so now you are going to pass the parameters those are 10 and 20 and now you can display the value with the help of my and similarly for z and y you have created a new function here so that will be my dot one you can create another object and then you can see that the value will be respectively passed so this is how calling of copy constructor and passing another object as an argument is done next is this is an another type or we can say another lookout for constructor that is constructor definition outside the class how can be a constructor defined outside the particular class how can that be done so that is done with the help of scope resolution operator here you can see that two columns are used that is a scope resolution operator now how we do that we have created a class class creation is class in the name of particular class the scope is mentioned and the variables are declared next is you are declaring constructor inside the class body so this is you have declared the constructor inside a particular class body so that is my class your same name as the class name constructor name is also same the next is this is a parameterized because it has passed several parameters and next you are defining the constructor outside the body class body then how can you do that for doing that you have to just use the class name my class then you have to declare what the scope resolution operator you're declaring you're giving the scope and then again my class and then you have to pass the parameters that is int a and b rest function is same then you have what done the class name and the object name and you have passed the parameters and then the display portion is done so that is easy but this declaring part is a bit different because you have different outside the particular class body and the output is 10 and 20 the values which you can pass with your convenience or your wish when class has a lot of member function and constructor then it is defining constructor outside the class why because too much of member function a class can hold that you can be get confused while programming so to make the code easy to understand and increases the speed of compilation of particular code we declare the constructor sometimes outside the class body also now you may be confused between two things that what is the big difference between the member function or a constructor what changes does it really bring to any program so member function has a return type and as i have already told constructor do not have any particular return type member function are not called automatically but constructors are automatically called because as you create a class the constructor is automatically called it has same name as the class name even if you do not initialize it the c++ compiler by default generates a constructor for the program compilation next is member function are not created itself they have to be created by the programmer but we do not create the constructor compiler creates a default constructor and called itself as i mentioned earlier also there is no any specific need to create a constructor even if you are not creating it the compiler default constructor creation is easily done multiple constructor of different types can be declared inside a particular class multiple constructor with same type and same name can also be declared in a class which is called constructor overloading for multiple constructor concept the very last thing is along with constructor comes destructors too in c++ destructor is a member function which destruct or deletes a particular object so it is for deletion a destructor function is called automatically when the object goes out of scope so if any object goes out of scope then the destructor is called automatically and when does such things happen when the function ends the program ends a block containing local variable ends or a delete operator 
is called then only destructor is called now this is a tilt symbol for destructor this symbol you can see here this tilt symbol is used for the destructor calling destructor do not take any argument and don't have any return type also one thing to be mentioned in a class there can be only one destructor not more than one destructor can be there in a class there can be only one in a particular class now why user define destructor why do we need destructor or what is another add on to this thing that why do we need to use destructor so if we do not write our own destructor in class compiler creates a default destructor for us similar to the constructor a default destructor works fine unless we have dynamically allocated memory or pointer in a particular class when a class contains a pointer to memory allocated in the class we need to or we write to destructor to release that memory block for the class instant that means the object and that gets completely destroyed so this must be done to avoid the memory leak so that minimum memory leak is done we use the destructor now this is the program here you can see here this part is we have discussed in the previous uh, things of constructor also that declaration of class and then declaration of the constructor now here is the destructor you have seen the tilt sign over here along with the constructor name that is my class and here you can see so that in program it will be visible to you when i will be running the code that destructor is called so there you can see that destructor is called will be shown so next is the object creation of that particular class and then the value is called and last you're going to see that destructor is called that means program execution is done and the memory block is released or to avoid the memory leak destructor is called so we have three things four things to do that is to check the programming of the copy default and parameterized and similarly the destructor working all these four programs i am going to run in the program line so let's start firstly with the default constructor so this is the program for default constructor and here you can see the declaration that is along with the class name the class name above is my class and so is the name of constructor and next you can see that the variable passing here with the object creation of class my class is done over here and here you can see that the variable or also declared with something that is x is having value 10 and y is 20 in the constructor creation only and that is done inside the class inside the my class not outside the class so let me run this program now and you can see the values of x and y then so as i run this program you can see that the value of x is 10 and y is 20 because it is having the past value and the default constructor is there because there is no parameters passed the next you can see is parameterized constructor and the parameterized constructor declaration here is done with two parameters passed int a and int b and the values of x and y are stored with the help of a and b and later on you can see that the parameters here are passed that is my class dot my object is going to have values or parameters 10 and 20 and then the value will be printed so as i execute this program the values will be same it's just the declaration of the constructor is a bit different here also the value is 10 and 20. next i'm going to show you the destructor that how the destructor is work and it is going to print that destructor is called after the value has been printed so here you can see that x and y are done and as the print is done it is showing here destructor is called now the memory is free there is no leakage of memory so this is why destructor is used and here you can see that there is a tilted sign for the destructor along with the constructor name that is my class so in this video we have studied about constructor the types of constructor what is the difference between member function and a constructor and why do we need a destructor for more programs and theoretical portions we will look into upcoming videos thank you